Hey, everybody, welcome to the Mike Boschetti Show. I'm your host, Mike Boschetti, with my amazing, awesome co host, the great, incredible actress and, and writer, Jenny Springs. Jenny! Hi, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> Good. I'm not, I didn't take any caffeine in my discussion. <laughs> That's great. I didn't have any Coke today. So, what are you, what are you, uh, what are you drinking now? Coca Cola. Drinking chocolate milk. Oh, and my God. I keep adding this. Jen, please make me a glass and send it to the mail. <laughs> what if I could, Mike? I know you would because, Jen, look what I got. This is in soda. It's like uh, ice drink, something like that, they call it, right? Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? I was reading the ingredients on there. It said colors, synthetic colors. I'm like, what the hell are you using house paint in here? <laughs> so what? what is that exactly? What flavor? What is it? Uh, it's... Um, what is it? Oh, black raspberry, which I love. Oh, that sounds good. No it's really cool because no, sadly. Carbonation? <laughs> is it is it carbonated? Yeah, it's carbonated. It's pretty cool because Jen, I was telling you what happened to me earlier, right? You dropped when your I, phone, yeah. I was setting my equipment up, my phone, brand new, right? Went bam on the flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh no. But thank God I got the case for it a week ago. Good. I would have a major nightmare here right now, really, right? Oh, man. Yeah, maybe you wouldn't be able to record. Shattered. No, we, Jen, you look great. Love that. Look, look what I did. Uh, I don't know if you can see you. I, I burned my, I burned my thumb. I burned my thumb. Oh, no. I'm trying to curl my hair. Yeah. I, oh, no, really, are you okay? It hurts, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Put a band-aid like on. It's a blister. It, it's Put not bleeding it? or anything. No, it just hurts. I'm so sorry. I know, burns. I'm so sorry. I do things like that all the time. I'm a clutch. Me too. You know who you're talking to, the king of clutches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I dare want to make a bet over money that I spill it. I don't, that I do or don't spill this in okay. the next hour or two. Okay. I spill no everything. Problem. I, mm. Oh, well, I was going to tell you quickly, right? You know what's been bothering me lately? Uh, all the ads for the holidays are always like Christmas. Jen, they're pushing Christmas in, in like August almost now. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah. For Halloween, I saw I saw Christmas lights up on the houses. Before it's crazy, Halloween. right? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. unbelievable how it is now. Yeah. They're yeah, so it's like, greedy. It's like, and it's supposed to be a sacred holiday, really. Yeah, I know. But it, I, I don't think that's the main purpose anymore. I, I feel like it's very commercialized. I know. Yeah. But I'm going to bring on our first guest. Okay. He's also from uh, Massachusetts. I'm, like I said, you can talk to him a little bit about that because I'm not, I'm not really, I've never been there that much except Nantucket. But our yeah. first guest is a, a good friend, what do you call it? Uh, he's an, an actor, a comic, and he's a voiceover artist, which I love, right? My friend Barrett Le Letty. Barrett. You got it, Mike. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, okay? It's great to be here. Barrett, this is Jenny. She's my co-host. She's awesome. Hi, Barrett. Nice. Hi, nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Thanks for having me on. No, thanks for coming on. Because for... uh, do you guys live close? But I never been to Boston only once. Like I was saying, do you guys? Boston's a big place. I mean, Massachusetts is right. Natick, Massachusetts. That's where I was born. Home of Doug Flutie. Um, yeah, you know, uh, moved to New York about six years ago. But yeah, always love going back. To, uh, going back home to Massachusetts. It's nicer there. It's more, I don't know. People are nicer, I think. I don't know. Uh, I disagree with you. I disagree really? with you. I think people are nicer in New York. If I go on the- We should have, we should have like a contest, like a nice contest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you, do you ever go on the commuter rail and to like from like say Connecticut to New York? Sure. The Amtrak, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, not the Amtrak, like the regular commuter rail, like but, oh, I have um, not had that experience. Oh, because I always find people to talk to. Everybody's really nice going to New York, but going to like, going to Boston, nobody talks. Like, everybody's like looking down at their phone or reading a book or they give a dirty look. I yeah, I think definitely New York. If I ask for directions, they always help me. You know, from Grand Central to get somewhere, they yeah, always help me. The thing is, right? The worst train ride I was over on Chen and Barrett was. There's something called the quiet car. That. What did you, were you yelling? No, you're not allowed to be quiet. You have to be quiet. Somebody shushed me. <laughs> Some guy was like, Shh. So you know what I said? I'm not in the freaking library. 
<laughs> he goes, he goes, I will call a conductor. This is a quiet call. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, Jen, how funny is that? I will call a conductor. What were you doing? Were you, were you being loud? No, I was talking to somebody. And he goes, and he just like reprimanded me. I'm like, you know, from third grade. It's weird, right? What's but it's the, the quiet, quiet car. <laughs> what is the quiet car? It's, it's, I took it from like um, New York City up to Stanford, Connecticut. But what is this that? This was like about 20 years ago. Is this the whole train? Is it just one car? No, it's, the train? It's, one, what... it's one section of a train and it's the quiet car and people go there for, I, I think douchey people love the quiet car because they, they don't have to talk to anyone. If you yeah. need, I feel like so, people on an Amtrak are generally uh, like respectful. So if you need even more quiet, I don't know. I don't trust you. Mike, no. I, I, Mike you should have punched the guy. No, you know what? It wasn't worth it because I, 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 I would have just said F off if I was in the really right. <laughs> uh, Barrett, um, Jen Barrett is, does a lot of voiceovers and stuff. And I asked him for us, for both of us, do some, a couple of voices, like like an announcer voice, how do you sound? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. A couple of cartoons. Well, like, you, like anything in sp anything particular? Can you do like the, the movie voices guy, like that old fashioned, like, what well, kind of movie phone? Well, movie phone, a little before my time, movie phone. Let me. Uh, could, but could you do like, like a real like announcery voice like they did years ago? Like, oh, yeah, like, well, how about that? How about a little promo for you? It's the Mike Boschetti Show <laughs> with Jenny. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, yep. can depends you, on what you want. Cut, I, I, I'll give you, I mean, I can give you a cut. Can you do a yeah. cut? I truly love cartoons. Jenny, you like cartoons, right? I like them okay, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll give you I'll give you one. Um oh, uh, he, uh, that, uh, what do you call it? Mateo said a Japanese cat. I don't know. Oh, well Yu-Gi-Oh is an anime uh, show that I do. Also like Pokemon, it's Japanese anime. But Yu-Gi-Oh has that like uh it, it, growing up in the 90s um I watch, you know, I watched it a lot and it's got that uh stereotypical kind of uh anime vibe to it. It's like it's time to duel. Whoa. You know, yeah, it's got, it's very, um, uh, I summon blue eyes, white dragon. It's, it's all very, <laughs> it's all very dramatic. And, um, yeah, I, I still work on it to this day. Here's a voice you might remember. I can't believe it. I just don't believe oh my God, it. Oh, We're never gonna get a hold of that stupid lamp. Oh, that was go. really good. I knew who you were right away. That was awesome, Jen, right? That was really cool. That was. Yep. Barrett, I always tell Jenny she has a really, she speaks really well with, with the great voiceovers. So I really believe that. And she's, yeah, you do like you know, audio books. I can't hear you, what? No, I was going to say you could do audio books, you know? I, I would do that. I would definitely do that. Have you done that? Have you done audio books? Yes, uh, a lot yeah. of them. Um, and sometimes they're really fun, and then sometimes they're really boring. Like when I had mm -hmm. to, uh, I had to read a whole like eighteen hour long textbook on managerial strategies. Oh and, boy! Uh, I just wanted to die. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes it could be it could be fun though. So how long like how long of a stretch do you go? Like how long do you read for before taking a break for something like that? Usually a couple hours. Usually you're Whoa. sitting there, the director's <laughs> over the uh, over the headphones with you um and you'll be sitting down and just talking straight for like two hours and then you look at the clock you're like i should probably pee um but, yeah. yeah but talking for two hours straight that sounds like my kind of job doesn't it mike like yeah, Jen, <laughs> i can talk for two hours she would she would freaking be a millionaire and go and book because i'm telling you easily because oh but jen barrett that Barrett is Irish, like like half uh, yeah. fully Irish, and his yeah. dad is from, from Ireland. Oh, cool! From Cork, yeah. and that does make me a uh, citizen. So you know, if things, oh, wow. ever, really? if things ever get bad, okay. I can go to Ireland. Yeah, have but you can you do Ireland? a broke for us? I love the broke. I've never, uh, I've, I've I actually have never been, but I uh, we're hope, hoping to plan a trip soon. Uh, yeah, that would be amazing. Absolutely. I would love to go. I actually started um, studying Irish on Duolingo. I'm I'm studying a bunch of languages on there, and it's hard. Nobody even, pretty much nobody speaks it anymore. It's but it's really it's a really difficult language, and so the lessons are really difficult. They go really fast, 
and they don't even tell you how to say the words and they don't look like they sound at all. Does it just recommend beers? <laughs> no. Oh, no, I haven't yes. gotten to that chapter yet. Okay. Do they have a lot of stock matches and, and, and fist fights afterwards? Definitely. <laughs> Bare knuckled fight. Yeah. Oh, no. But um, yeah. Barrett, I was going to ask you also, um, if, if you do your stand-up as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, an actor as well. And out, out of each thing you do, right? Stand-up, acting, and voiceover. If you had to be super successful at any one of them, which would it be? I, I think I'm going to pick voiceover. It's wow. great. You just, I, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Uh, it, you don't have to, like, really look nice. Uh, you just wake up in the morning and you, you all of a sudden, you they want you to play a parrot that day or they want you to wow. play a, a doctor or something or you're reading a book. It's all, it's different. It's, it's, uh, you know, the, I like the schedule. It's flexible. Um, comedian, uh, doing stand up is fun. It's a lot of late nights. I know. Um, yeah. I think I prefer, um, I think I honestly prefer doing voiceover what I'm doing now. I have a question cool. about, oh, go ahead, Mike. Okay. okay. No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to ask you about stand up. Is it, is it scary going out there and like, it's, it's honestly not knowing how people are going to react, if they're going to laugh or it's very scary. Um, I think it's actually for me personally, the, like the most scary Avenue I've, uh, I've gone down. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember bombing really badly at a theater called the pit that they used to have in, uh, in, uh, Oh God, two of them. Yeah. Jen, this was like, on um, one was on West 29th and the other was on East 23rd, I think. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember I was opening for my friend's sketch team, and I had a whole thing written out, but when I got to the theater, for some reason, I got this spark of inspiration, and I thought it would be really funny if I went behind the stage, gathered up a whole bunch of janitorial supplies, like a mop and a, and a broom, and I put a bucket on my head, <laughs> and uh, I went out on stage, and, I, and when they announced, oh, here's your opener, and I came out on stage sweeping, and mopping and like you know, uh, brushing things down. And I and I was going, hey, don't mind me, folks. I'm just a janitor. Hey, I love I'm that. Just a janitor. All right. But the whole crowd was just full of these dude bros from Rutgers. Oh no. And and they all just stared at me. Stared yeah, because that's just funny comedy because it's risk taking. I I it yeah. makes me laugh thinking about it. I'm the janitor. Um, <laughs> but yeah. You know, that sounds it's mortifying. Scary. It is mortifying. I, that's why I, I don't know. I would like, I try to push myself to do things that make me uncomfortable, but that one, like doing comedy, even though I, I think I'm kind of funny in person, but I think going on a stage and doing it would be so scary just because of that. Like, if, if, if there's like silence, if you're greeted by silence and you're trying to be funny, what do you, how do you move on from that? What do you do? Well, what is uh, Mike, Mike, what do you do? Uh, if you go, Jen, if it goes great and they want to make me mayor, I'm thrilled. <laughs> Right. Well, what, but, what, but if it's, it's, what if it's just silent? No, but if it goes really bad, I want to crawl on that table and crawl out the back door and never see people for a few weeks. What do you? Well, yeah. can, can we, what do you do? Like, do? Do you get like heckled? Oh, I got heckled. That's funny because I can tell you guys our next guest, our guest later on coming on is Jim Serpico. He, he worked at Comedy Central for years. He had a showcase. From, Jen it was a TV show years ago called Shorties Watching Shorties on Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. They were looking for characters like me on there, right? So I get there, and some idiot drunk heckled the life out of me during a TV audition. That's the worst, right? So you, you know what I did, guys? I fucking let him have it and laced into him like Andrew Dice Clay did, right? Which is horrible for an audition, you know? Men is people, right? But Jim was laughing his ass off, who was the executive that produced the show, right? He gave me like a thumbs up after that. What'd you say to him? Uh, Jen, do you mind if I curse? No, I don't mind. Go ahead. I go, I don't know what fucking rat hole you, you crawled out of. Your dad came from the same fucking shitty ass fucking rat hole, something like that. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Jen, I lost it that day. It was horrible, but I, I don't <laughs> care. Like, uh, in yeah. the past. Because, oh, I was going to ask you, Barrett, right? Um, okay, if someone new started voiceovers, right? How important is training to them? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got to have uh, 
some acting background. You got to um, make sure you can enunciate. Um, you have to uh, think on the fly. Uh, having improv background is great. Uh, and also the ability to shift different genres, because uh, in order to earn a living, you're going to have to do commercials, you're going to have to do cartoons, audiobooks. I feel like it's good to have uh, skills in each of those genres, and they're all so different. Um, so diversifying your skills, you know. You're very, you're very interesting, right, Shane? We're having a good time with him. Yeah, you have a very I'm nice voice. A great time. Oh, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. I, 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 I got to tell you, Mike. I've been a been a huge admirer for a long time. I think you are hilarious, thank very you. unique, and uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Barrett, because I, I have fun. And Jenny is very Jenny's a really really good actress, and she's great at writing. She's like she she's incredible. You know what I mean? And I'm, awesome. I'm glad she's my co-host because I yeah. I told her, you know what? This is not easy to do on your own, and I need someone that's going to be great to help me make me. You know what I mean to work with me, and it's not easy, Jen. You're kicking butt. Uh, thank you. I, I I really am not familiar with this at all, so this is very you're doing wonderful thing. because thank fans you. have been sending me like inboxes how much they're loving the show. That's great, great, and I'm very happy to help you. I always yeah, have a good friend. Just yeah. pretty cool. Um, let me bring you on next. I'm sorry, Barry. Is it okay because I got I don't know how long. I don't want to overrun this, but I, it's just okay if I. Uh, stop you now. Is that all right? I'm so sorry. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you okay. got to do. But Barrett, where can we find you? You find me at Barrett Letty, B A R R E T T L E D D Y, across all platforms, BarrettLetty.com. Hey, go check it out. Thank you, Barrett. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet, pleasure to meet you virtually, right, Jen? It's like. Yeah. Have you. Yeah, pretty have you met before, like over? No. Never. Oh. Just online. I mean, next time, yeah, that's what I meant. Like next, online, have you met? Talk. And next time I'm on, Mike, I want you to tell the story of uh, Vinny Santarpio, or whatever that guy's name was from the grocery store. Oh, this is funny, Jen. I'll, 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 I definitely will. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, Barrett. Good right, seeing you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. bye. Jen, you haven't, uh, this is fun. I like this, right? I'm having a good time. Really Thanks. Nice. You know, our next guest, Jen, I know him. Oh, I was going to tell you before we go on, you know what I've been, you know what I've been eating today? What? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I used to be a nanny, right? And all the families had the veggie straws. Almost all the families had the veggie straws. And it's the so kids good, love right? them. They think they're like chips. I, did, I, I looked at them in like different colors. I, I don't want to try this. It looks kind of, I don't know. It scares me because they're like asparagus flavored and carrot flavored and things like that. I don't know. Aren't they flavored like vegetables? Yeah, they're very, they yeah. Like each one is supposed to be like a carrot or a tomato or yeah. something, right? Yeah. So what do they, do they taste like that or are they just like chips? Uh, they try to taste like that, but they're really not at all. You know what I mean? It's they, like, so that, like that's good. like, oh, you know what I mean? Have for later on, you know what a cooking fan I am, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ate lunch. Stop, like don't, don't show me that stuff. I'm trying to um, cut down on that kind of stuff. Yeah. I know, me too. I'm sorry, Jen. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I had McDonald's last night, so I've had oh, nice. myself for the week. Yeah. Hey, I was looking to say that, Pat, you look great with this great color. That's like blue straight. This is blue, yeah. I was actually looking for my green one and I can't find it. Oh no. I, I, I wore one on St. Patrick's Day like a year and a half ago, a green button-up shirt. I love the color green and I was gonna wear that, but I couldn't find you look, it. So you look great. My Everything looks I phenomenal on you. Yeah, great. Thanks. We're gonna bring our next guest on. Okay. Our okay. next guest I know for at least 10 years now. He's very cool. He's Jen, he does a lot of things. He's like a jack of all trades. Uh, Dave Hill is a musician. He's a writer, he's a comedian, and an actor, right? And he's and uh, he's from Ohio originally, but he's just like super chill. He's such a one. He's such a good friend. You're gonna love him. The great Dave Hill. Dave, can you hear? I can't hear anything. Can you hear me, Mike? Yeah, Dave. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. This. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, Dave. This is my my host. Jenny. Hey, how are you? I'm sorry, I, I was parked and now I had to move. Uh, oh no. We're in 
So I'm just driving momentarily. That's what's why I'm not looking. I mean, we're in New Jersey. Lu Lucy had to have surgery, so we're. Um, no, this is dog, Dave. She's Jen. Yeah. This dog had surgery. I love this dog. She's a cute dog. Oh, oh. Yeah. So we're. Where's, where's she now? She's in the hospital. We're going there now. now. Um, I'm so sorry. But I, I'll be stopped from rolling in a moment here. Um, but thank you for having me. I'm sorry. No, I'm, we I'm wanted to have pull, you on. I'm going to pull position. over now. I'm, okay, take your um, time. No, we can. We can. We. Oh shoot. Okay. Dave, I was going to ask you writing wise, right? Yep. Jenny is an outstanding writer. She's awesome writing wise, right? Dave, how many books have you wrote and which are your favorite ones? And, and tell us a little about each one if you can. I'm almost done with my fourth book and uh, it'll be out next year, next fall, 2023. And uh, my first book is called Tasteful Nudes. It was um, a collection of essays. Second book is Dave Hill Doesn't Live Here Anymore. <laughs> and that's another collection of essays. And then I wrote a book called Parking the Moose, which is about Canada. Oh, nice. And, um, and I went all over Canada. And then uh, this new book is about hockey, but I don't have a title with it. I was actually just trying to figure out the title today. I think I know what the title is, but I don't want to say in case I'm wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Because... Jen, do you have any uh, questions about Dave, Dave about writing? Oh. Because she's really, she's really down writing wise and acting wise. Well, I was going to ask you oh, about nice. the writing itself, but are you, are you a hockey player? Or are you just a fan of hockey? Or I am, a, I am a hockey. I grew up playing. I played until my sophomore year of college, and then I uh, stopped. I quit. I was on the team at college, and I quit like two games into the season because I realized. I would rather be doing stuff with my friends. <laughs> so, so I quit. And then I, I've played like sporadically over the years, but not that often. But yeah, it's, it's really the only sport I like. I don't really have any interest in football or basketball. I like baseball a little bit, but I kind of don't care at all about any other. It's weirdly the only sport I've have any passion what for. What's the book about as far as hockey I'm goes? Book, I'm sorry, we're just still doing one question. I'm so sorry. No, I just was asking oh. what's the book about as far as hockey? What I'll I'll answer that. Um it's about uh it's a bit like a memoir travelogue sort of thing. Like I I went I just got back from Finland. I went and I watched games over there and did some shows over there and I went to Kenya and I played with the one hockey team in all of Kenya they they kind of practice against each other but I flew there and played with them and then it's just kind of about uh you know hockey not being like nearly as popular as the other sports in America and and kind of wanting it to be even you know because it's way more popular in other countries so it's kind of a a mixture of a lot of different stuff about hockey but it's mostly like you know i went just been traveling around the world the last couple of years well last year mostly i'm a big hockey fan so that's why i was asking you oh nice <laughs> oh excellent yeah it's uh it's i mean it, i'm just kind of obsessed with it and um but i also i'm not really that into like stats and stuff so like it's kind of a bit a little, a little bit about that just and, you know, I sometimes question whether I just like the idea of it or just like being around it. Because I like just the, oh. I just like to, I like the sound of it. I, I love the game, but like, I don't, I don't even care who wins or loses. I'm just into it. I'll just go to see any team. If they're over like 15 years well, old, I'm totally into it. Like, hey, uh, I, want to, I want to ask you, um, welcome, I'm just going to go back with Jenny. I will see you in a little bit. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to. Finish this up, but thank you. Um, Dave? Mm -hmm. yeah. Jen? Yeah. What do you call it? I, I can talk a little bit about this. Me and Dave have been working on a project together for years, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Writing it for years. 
that's incredible. And 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 you're gonna laugh when you hear what it is, right? You're gonna love it as well. It's called history Mike, you time. Can't, you can't give away the idea. Someone's gonna steal it. Oh no, no sorry. <laughs> but Don't, it's you can't give away the idea on your show. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an idiot. Jen, I'll have to talk to you more about it later. I'm yeah, sorry. tell me later. Yeah, yeah. tell. Tell. I won't tell. I, I won't tell anyone. I mean, yeah, it, no. they, I just want to How have many enjoy it because, Well, I'll put it this way: it's fun, and it was something that, that you loved. That you would go, "Whoa!" Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. So That's Dave, all you need. Thanks to know. for telling yeah. me. I'm such an idiot. Well, well I'm going to know more <laughs> later. I know. We don't. This. We don't want. We don't want the you know, all your listeners to run off with uh our red hot intellectual well, we've been working on this for a long time right Jen? but it's been fun because, so, so you're you know, doing this project together but this mystery yeah. project you're doing it together and it's just, yeah we, the the pandemic has kind of set us back but we're back 2023 yeah. is our year i hope Jen, it's everybody's uh, year I, I hope it's a definitely. Good year. it's gonna be a great one yeah COVID is going around again i don't know if you know that i know people who have it well it's the latest craze it's it's terrible it's terrible i'm so careful like i mask up everywhere i i use the hand sanitizer and i wash my hands all the time which i always did anyway but not the hand sanitizer and the masking but the washing my hands you know, well I, it's, that, it's, I know the hands my hands look like an iguana when first things first started yeah I know. mine actually started peeling i got actually well, scared because <laughs> my palms were peeling like all the skin was uh, coming off it was i was scared because you could just like it was like flakes all over my it was disgusting and putting on lotion didn't help because it just made it all rough i don't know oh it's horrible it right now dead skin. And my hands yeah. look like freaking like an iguana for like a, a year or so because uh dave i was going to ask you because um jen dave did a lot of really cool music gigs and and the comedy gigs are pretty big big people yeah. uh, dave what was your favorite gig and why I think probably my favorite, uh, maybe uh, maybe I did a show at Sing Sing Prison. I've done a couple of shows well, there. And maybe the first time I went there was uh, was my favorite just because it was uh, it was just a, a new experience and I, it was awesome. And I was kind of I was really nervous about it. And uh, and it ended up being a great experience, and I think it was, uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to do it every night, but, uh, but it was they, it was pretty awesome. They, Jen, that's what Davis is a cool that. guy because you know why, Jen? He's such a cool guy because most people would say I opened for Metallica and go on and on, but he did something that was really unique and very warm, hot, warm and cool. That's why I love it. That is unique. Oh, thanks. Well, then what, what was your, what made it so, what made it stand out to you? Like, um, I think, uh, I think, um, you know, cause I, I, the original idea was, I, I, I just kind of said it, you know, just as a joke to some friends, like, oh, I'm going to go do this. And, you know, it's just kind of joking around. And then, you know, they were laughing about it, you know, saying how badly it would go. And so I was like, I'm going to follow through on this and do it. So I did it. Um, and on the lead up to it, I was really nervous about it, you know, and and almost canceled because I was just like, oh, my gosh. Oh. Um, but then, I, you know, I stayed the course because it's all, you know, I they checked in. They're like, oh, we're just making sure you're still coming. And I was like, yeah, what's the what are these guys like? And then they're like, well. They're all maximum security violent felons. Oh, no, no. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't go. I, was a I wouldn't nervous. go. But uh, it was an amazing experience. And there's like 300 guys, you know, and, and uh, it was like really a uh, powerful experience. Made me sort of, um, you know, realize, hey, we're, you know, I don't know, made me really think. Uh, just about prison in general you realize you meet a lot of these guys and you realize like the circumstances that you know you wind up in prison you know it can just be one minute one five crazy minutes of your life you know that's all the difference between Whoa. uh someone in there and then you or i so uh that's kind of crazy it was, when you think about it 
Yeah. Yeah, because you think like, you know, you could be drunk. There's a gun on the, someone's got a gun, you know, something stupid happens. And that's the difference between me sitting in my rental car right now talking to you guys or me being in prison, you know. But I'm, oh, I'm glad you're in your friend. rental car, not in prison. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm in my mom's basement instead of prison. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm glad you are too, Mike. Thank you, Dave, because, uh, Jen, what do you call it? Um, that, that was such a heartwarming story. I knew you were a good guy, Dave, because most people would say, like I said earlier, I opened to Metallica, you know, Bev, go on and on. We, we, we're in a very, like, self-serving me, 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 me business. And it's good to hear that you did something phenomenal. Oh, thank you, Mike. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I, it's, um, it, was a, it was a great experience. Jen, Jen, we're going to have I Dave back in here another time. You know what he's going to do? What is he going to do? He's going to play some guitar for us. We can get him on a Saturday. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Well, no, well, any anytime I'm home, but just today I just happened to be we're just out here in New Jersey for Lucy, so I don't have any guitarists nearby. But he's Question. phenomenal, Jen. I want to ask you quickly. This is not really on topic, but Lucy, is she named after Lucille Ball by any chance? Or is she just No, <laughs> um... It kind of started like I was on my radio show. I used to have a radio show on WFMU and mm -hmm. I was asking listeners, you know, for name suggestions because we had just gotten uh, Lucy and someone was like, oh, call her Danzig because I just, you know, kind of after the band Danzig or after Glenn Danzig. And then so I was talking about that and then my friend Walter said oh that's too on the nose why don't you call her lucifuge which is the second danzig record for all you danzig fans would of course know and um and so lucifuge and then uh we just shortened it to lucy so it's l-u-c-i sort of a weird maybe just made up spelling it's a cute Dave, name, jen davis traveled yeah. a lot too in yeah. all over europe really right and me and Jenny always talk about this a lot, that sometimes, and you could tell us the truth, uh, we find that European people are very chilled and laid back. Do you find that? Have you experienced um, that when you visited or? Yeah, Europeans? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I love it. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I kind of love everywhere. I can't really think of it anywhere. I've been that I was like, oh. I mean, you've been to London, sucks. you've been to like all, all the European places, right? Majorly. Which maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. I've been to maybe 30 countries. Well. And, uh, but which seems like a lot, but also is not very many in terms of the planet, you know? But uh, no, I, I love it. I, I think it's just fun to meet different people and you know, people see how people live, live their lives and things like that. You're one of the chillest so, uh, people out, Dave. I wish I was as chilled as you are. Believe me. I... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, uh, I just, I just went to take, Finland. Yeah, can you tell Jenny time, what Lucy looks like? Oh, Lucy, she's a sweetie. She's um, she's like boxer, pit bull, maybe some Rhodesian Ridgeback, and so some Hellhound. Yeah, yeah Is she's he, beautiful. You see her, Mike. Oh yeah, my, he's met her. I love oh. that dog because I came, I came yeah. over to Dave's house to hang out and we could play, she, threw, she wanted me to play catch with the ball and stuff, you know what I mean? It was a good time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's a sweetie. Dave, do you have anything coming up we can talk about? I mean, projects that you can yeah, talk about? Yeah, well, we can talk about, I just did a short film uh, starring me and Adam Pally, if you know him, a uh, great uh, comedic actor from film and television uh and a buddy of mine and it's called spark wheel and it stars the two of us and maddie Hidal hidalgo so i think that'll be at festival soon what else i uh, the book my hockey book that i don't know the title of yet will be out next year oh nice uh uh penguin random house and then i'm doing you know some shows i'm doing um if you go to my website, DaveHillOnline.com, I, you know, I, I'm always doing shows around the country and the world. So, yeah, always, you always. Dave, like, 
it, it, next time you play, Jen, we should go see Dave. Music wise, comedy wise, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I would love to. Yeah, I was hoping to it. hear you. I was hoping to hear you play the guitar today. Mike promised me. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll come Dave, back. Uh, Dave, this is Dave, one of the rare I'm, days. Not I know. Home. I'm so surprised. Well, Dave, could do me a favor? If we FaceTime probably, can you play guitar for, the, for, for us? I, she's going to love it. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do. I'll, I'll be back. I could do it Saturday. Okay, nice, Jen. Cool. Jen, you're going to love every minute of this. It's like, it, I really appreciate it. Jen, you have anything else you want to ask, Dave? I mean, anything, any, you can go, go ahead. Um, I can't think of a specific question. You do so much. Like, how do you juggle everything in your schedule that you do? Oh, I don't know. I just try to have fun and and uh, just get it done. And, and then if someone's paying me to do something, then I just like, well, I got to do that and then work on the other stuff later, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and you still have time to travel and all the stuff, like, or is that part of your is that part of your research? Is that kind of yeah, part of the research? Yeah, I yeah. Man, travel to do shows and you know for the hockey book, I you know I went, I don't know when when did I go to went to Finland. Was it cold in Canada? I think it was cold when we went to Canada, right? I went to Canada too. Yeah, yeah, it was cold. I was like, um, whoa, he's going up there in the winter because I'm like, holy crap, you. Man, I was I, 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 oh, I, yeah. I'm I'm clumsy. I was falling with snowshoes up there. <laughs> what were the oh, people yeah. in Canada like? Like, oh, they're say, very nice. I mean, yeah, okay. I think it's a good, good vibe there. Always really nice. I, I think they're maybe a little nicer than Americans. Yeah. They don't feel seem as entitled, but um, yeah, That's I don't know. It's also Canada hard. Of nice. I think yeah, Canada nice looks like, like a great place to go. I want to go to Canada. I went there when I was. Well, I got this disastrous, disastrous family vacation, so I can't really gauge it. From that. Um, oh. It was like vacation. It was like the movie vaca- National Lampoon's vacation. My brother and I were were mortified. Oh, was, we were like Jen, going on vacation. It was like Chevy Chase with my dad and everybody else. Was, it, you know? Yeah, it was. It was like that, except but, uh, Dave. Where can we find you? Because anybody know what time it is? That's a bad question. Oh yeah, yeah. I should let you go. I'm. I'm. Uh... On Instagram at Mr. Dave Hill at Mr. Dave Hill. I'm that on Instagram and TikTok, and then I have a website at DaveHillOnline.com, and that's about it. Thank you, Dave. You were the best. It was so much fun because thank Saturday, you guys. We're gonna, we'll play guitar, right? Yeah, I would love it. Yeah, Jen, Let me know. it's like we're having our own concert with a great musician, Jen. It's gonna yeah, be fun. That, that would be great. I hope that Lucy is well. I hope she gets better. I yeah, she will. Thank you. Definitely. I love that. Thank you so much. And nice to meet you, Jen. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Dave, have a great day. And thank you for everything. Thank you, Mike. I I will talk to you, Dave. Thank you. All right. Love you, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dave. Jen, that was off. I'm going to just bring us out because we're going to take another show right now because we'll do it over again. You know what I mean? But, Jenny, I want to thank you for being an incredible host and just Great. You were awesome. Thank you. So are you. It was fun, right? I mean, I like it. I like when you get, you have some amazing questions. I'm really cool. Well, so do you, Mike. I appreciate that. You do too. It was fun, right? Um, I'm going to say goodbye to our fans. Jen, say goodbye, and I'll say goodbye, and we'll, we'll just, uh, till next time. Okay. Go ahead. You go for ladies first, always. Go ahead. Well, bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time. And uh, thank you, America, people who are watching us all across the world. We adore you, and thank you for tuning in, and that's it.